Hello everyone. Happy Sunday. I'm sure it's Sunday most places in the world. Just might be Sunday night or whatever. Anyway, um, surprise, even though I put the love is in the air on the thumbnail, I'm actually going to do the medals in love first. I have both of them ready for the same video, so yay me. <laughs> so, are you ready? I'm just going to walk you through sort of hopefully quickly um and i'll just start off by saying i've named this project that i'm doing it's metals in love but my particular one is called stop dragging my heart around or maybe it should be called stop flying my heart around i don't know anyway here we go um now this is going to be hard to show because i actually have things flying and i don't know can see them in there flying. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to share. So the key, the object here is the bird, oops, and my heart, and it actually has the word heart on there, and the key has heart on there. The bird is pulling the heart, and it's going to a different heart. So yeah, stop dragging my heart around. So, I didn't have any proper shadow boxes. We were to do a either a shadow box or an altered canvas. And I thought about doing a canvas for this one and a shadow box for the other one. But like I said, I didn't have any shadow boxes. But my daughter had gifted me sort of a late birthday present. A Hickory Farms um, box of goodies. And this was the box. And I used, I think this was the base of the box, and I think the other one was the lid. I should have done it the other way around, but anyway. So what I did is I covered this in black gesso. Um, I think I did the back too, yes. The bottom of the box. Um, and then I actually covered it in black paint. Then I used some metallic black paint, some metallic blue paint, and a little bit of... Um, the Nouveau Mousse in the Lilac, but then I remembered I had wanted to use a napkin, and it's the same napkin I used in my mixed media thing. This is a piece of it that I have left, because half the napkin was white, and then half looked like this sort of dark sky galaxy, I'm too close, there we go, uh, thing. So I actually decoupaged the whole piece of the napkin that had, um, this on it except for this little bit um, into the top part of the box and put it on top what I had um, painted and then I had this oh shoot I put it away already this was an Alina Crafts um, die cut it pops out all these little black hearts and I put it on with texture paste or maybe it was called modeling paste. I forget. Anyway, and yeah, I was getting impatient. I was drying it with the dryer and everything. I did let it sit for a while. I finally just took like a um, paper towel and rubbed it and it made a sort of gray and I just left it that way. So it has texture there. It's a whole bunch of hearts. It goes from here uh, down into the bottom here. I had to cut a few little bits off because they just weren't right. I have some grunge pieces. I have this big swirly thing in here that's one of those Tim Holtz grunge uh, board pieces. And um, it goes all the way up the top here and swirls around. And I basically painted that black and then went over it with something. <laughs> I think the, um, I went over it with the Platinum uh, Nouveau Mousse, I'm pretty sure think and it might have been the yeah I'm pretty sure it was and I think I did that with this heart too now some of the pieces are metal but most of them are like this is metal there's a metal compass under here and then this is a wood piece this is a wood piece these are all wood piece wood buttons this is grunge wood piece wood piece wood piece wood piece so 
these are uh, this is grunge piece this is um, wood piece this is paper and I forget where I had that it's like a chipboard cardboard paper with like a thin chipboard these are little wood pieces they're Kaiser craft um, down here there's more wood buttons and things and then here's the bottom of that um, thing and then these hearts were I believe Tim Holtz also these little sequins all different kinds of metallic sequins they're stamping up um, they're one of the few stamping up metallic sequin assortment so I used all different metals copper I used um, waterfall blue stickles on the birds around the heart there around the heart here in the middle of the key in the buttonholes here and here and here um, oh and then this these stars are grunge board also um, oh and here's more stickles up here on this like it's a half of a round button because it broke <laughs> and um, so I thought well that sort of looks like a moon then but anyway these are grunge board and what I did is I colored I painted them in um, Stampin' Up's gold uh, shimmer paint which is no longer available and then I wet, rubbed over it with my finger with some metallic black this one I painted in metallic blue and then put stickles on and then I just um, got some chain I had to use my uh, I used a 1 8 inch hole punch from Stampin' Up which was really hard to do I pulled the chain through and then stuck a jump ring on to hold them in place um, I did the same here and then this little bit of chain was left and I was gonna cut it off and I thought no I'll just have it dangle down in front and I put a little made with love which I don't think you can see focus oh, almost had it <laughs> Come on. anyway it says made with love on there um, and I think Oh, and then this ribbon, oh, this is just some gold rickrack I had in my stash. And this ribbon is, I thought looked like lattice, but I didn't want it, and it was white. So what I did is I took the Stampin' Up! Dark um, Basic Black Stampin' Blend, and I colored it, which because it, it has a shimmer, but that made it look like, sort of like a dark gray. I did both sides because it would show white through and I didn't want that. So I, I wanted that to seem sort of like a, um, you know, like a picket fence kind of thing, only a lattice. Oops, I'm sorry. I don't know which way I'm going here. I was trying to get you to see how it flies, but I can't. There, see? There we go. See, it flies. So the bird. Oh, and the bird was a Tim Holtz metal piece and what I did with that is I rubbed it's it was sort of gray I rubbed the black over it then I put um, blue metallic over it I believe no I used um, I didn't I used a blue gilders paste wax whatever it's called and then I put glossy accents on and I moved it into a different room to let it dry <laughs> um, and then the chain I actually had to use um, this is a hole punch but it's for metal jewelry it's a whopper I've shown it before this is a jewelry punch and it has all these different sizes I had to change it to the smallest one and I still messed up and broke the tail a little bit of the birdie but um, I managed to get it in and then I actually glued the chain on to the bird in two places one in the back and one up here because even though it's hooked on with a jump ring because it just kept um, it just kept like I don't know flopping funny so I glued it on and then it goes over and then I brought the little piece over and hooked it onto this jump ring here this is a little bit finer chain I didn't have enough of that so I used a more thicker industrial chain for there and for the big heart over over here I hope you were seeing that so yeah that's my stop dragging my heart around 
um, piece shadow box so I thought it turned out pretty cool and actually this time I prepared I actually wrote my ideas out and then I cut a piece of paper the same size as in there which is about seven and a half by seven and a half roughly a little bit less maybe um, and I sort of drew what I, I didn't draw I placed these bits onto the paper and then I took a picture of it with my phone um, so that when I, after I had them all painted and everything, when I went to place them, I could get it at least approximately right. I, I got it almost right. I think I had this down too low and a few things like that. But anyway, it was pretty close. So I was kind of happy with that. It did take me the better part of a day to do it. And what I had to do is... You know the gesso dries really quick the paint dries sort of quick the texture paste no takes forever or modeling paste whatever I used um, um, and um, painting the objects dried pretty quick but what I would do is when I had to uh, oh the decoupage glue that took forever I used um, I didn't use Mod Podge I used this stuff which I got it Tuesday morning sticky 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 it has a brush applicator and I, I didn't get it real good but I don't care it added a little more texture <laughs> I just wanted it as background you know um, I, I'll stick to Mod Podge or find some other glue because that is really eh, my fingers were like oh my gosh so sticky oh and one one other thing I did I took that gold shimmer paste and my wink of Stella and I did do before I put all these other things down I, I did do the tap 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 so there are little gold speckles all throughout too and that's the shimmer paint with the wink of Stella in it so yeah it glitters it sparkles but yet it is a little bit industrious not as much as some I'm sure and I was thinking of putting something up here and I decided not to I just left it plain um, because I'm either going to be hanging it on the wall or standing it on a bookcase and um, yeah so that's my first project now I will be right back with love is in the air hi guys I'm back and it's love is in the air time so this is the vintage shabby chic type uh, project and I did this one well I did most of it after the other one but what I had to do is when the paint on that other one was drying or something then I worked on painting this one <laughs> so I was going back and forth but then um, the other one when it was finally dry enough at the decoupage glue in particular and the texture paste stuff um, then I worked on that fully and then set this one aside and worked on it fully when that one was done um, and then I had to oh my gosh my fingers feel like rawhide between the hot glue burning me <laughs> and the or sticking to me anyway and the um, I, I was I was thinking of not doing my nails but oh my gosh I had black nail polish on you know but I had so much black paint and blue paint and I couldn't get it all off guys I had to paint over it with some kind of bright color which is why my nails don't really match anyway so let me stop talking about that and get on to my hop this is the back and guess what guys this is a napkin I have to show you this I was so tickled that I had this in my stash um, because it says love is in the air <laughs> and I thought I have to use that that wasn't my intent to I was looking for some napkins and I didn't know what I wanted to do with them I thought maybe just cut out some images because I wanted to use something else on the inside and the other thing is it says Philadelphia PA <laughs> and I'm like 35 miles outside Philly so yeah I just love this napkin it's got little birds it's got you know all the different roses and flowers and butterflies a little button with some thread in it and some little hearts and it says love is in the air I just thought that was so cool 
So I used it. I opened it up and I used it on the back and the top only, which I'll show you in a minute. And again, I used that um, Martha Stewart decoupage stuff and it got a little, you're seeing some streaks through here, but what, what is I painted the box, um, I used white gesso. This was a red box. Um, Hickory Farms red box and this is the lid so it has a big Hickory Farms in here so I painted it with gesso twice then I used white paint just once though I still I can see on the bottom I still have red I might not have done the bottom twice there but anyway I still couldn't cover all the red right so you're seeing a little bit of red streaky through here but it's okay because it kind of gives it more interest and everything and that decoupage stuff it's sort of rough so and i don't mind that because it again it adds texture i didn't do anything else to the back i thought it was beautiful other than putting these pearl trims on here and um those are from and you're gonna see these throughout these are those adhesive ones from michael's they had in their dollar fifty bin like i don't know a year and a half or so ago something like that so those are on the edges outside and in okay now let me turn it up so you can see the top this is the top I had this string of um, I had there were five on it I, I think I got those from Donna dreams times three when I bought all the trims and stuff this one was gifted to me by um, um, Isabel and or Nada Creations, Naida, Nada, I always can mess up her name. These are from AC Moore, I believe, as are the little butterflies up here. <laughs> Let me get it in frame. So here's my project. Let me show you what I used. Um, my starting point, other than the box, was this Tim Holtz worn wallpaper, which I just got in my Hobby Lobby haul. I used both pieces of um, this one. And um, this was one piece I had to cut a strip off. And then I used a bit of the bottom one, um, a different one. Now, I thought I had another little bit, but I don't know what happened to it. Maybe I used it on something else. I don't know anyway this you can see what's left is not much there's two pieces of each kind in there so that was the first thing I used this has been in my stash for a while oh these these came from overseas I used them in the peachy orangey color which I think is supposed to be orange um, I think it was labeled as yellow but it's actually orange and then the blue bluish teal ones because I thought and you can hardly see them there they're up in there this was in my jewelry stash. I remembered having one from mm, Bead Box Bargains. <laughs> and then this was gifted me by Deb Hendrick. And I was looking for a picture, but I couldn't find one that I liked um, in the cut aparts of any of my tablets, or even I had gotten um, two free downloads vintage style, and none of them really fit. So I just left it white and put it there. And I considered dangling um, a chain here but I decided against it this little white heart is left over from when I made my mother's um, teacup thing what do you call those um, you know the pouring teacups anyway it was in with these roses from Dollar Tree last year I bought them and I had not used the heart um, I used also some of these from Dollar Tree. These are baby's breath. And I used them here along the sides. And then I had these little blue ones. Those are the last. I can't show you those because I don't have any more. And, oh, trims. I did put this trim on. You can see I put the, the sticky pearls all over inside and out. Um, the tri other trims. Where the wallpaper split, I had put this down. It's just a, a real fine trim. I found this in my stash unopened, so I decided to use it. And then 
I went over it with, oops, with this heart because this is all about love, right? So this one I am calling Love is in the Air. So, oops, upside down. <laughs> so that one, I put that over it, which was an afterthought um, after I had put the other one down. I did use some tumble glass distress paint and the only place I used that was on the sides because again some of that red showed through but I, I like the blue to show through because that went with the napkin and also I put blue flowers in so I did use that um, okay now all these oh I used one other ribbon two others well this is the one at the top I don't know if I showed that to you already or not. And I have this lattice ribbon like I used on the other one. So I put it, I thought it looked like a trellis. So I put it on the sides only inside the box. I don't know if you can see that. See, it's in here on the sides. That was a pain in the butt because <laughs> it would not stick at first. Oops, here's another little piece of the wallpaper stuff. Um, okay, now... Then on the sides, I had, I was trying to find something to put down, so I had this piece of lace, and I don't honestly know where I got it from, whether it was a yard sale or from Donna Dreams times three or somebody else gifted it, I don't know. And I put it over the sides, just the sides, to give it a little texture, cover up some of the streakiness of the white and blue, and just thought it looked really nice. And then I had this piece of peachy orange um, netting or tool, whatever it's called. And the, uh, you can't really see it, but it's down under this bunch of flowers here. It was sticking, there's a little piece sticking out there, but yeah. Um, okay, so I have a combination of foam flowers, paper flowers, um, a, a um, rickrack flower which I didn't make it was a store-bought one and the peach ones and this you can hardly see it now but this was a only one I had it was a foam flower but it had lace around it like um, yeah lace around it um, and some of these little blue ones and um, I think that's it they were in a little bag um, that I'm pretty sure I had gotten from Donna Dreams times three as well. The white one looked like this pink one with the lace around it. Really pretty. I'd never seen those before. And then these sprays I have under here, those I think I had bought at um, either Joann's or Hobby Lobby. I can't remember. A while back. I don't I think I put the rest of them away. Oh no, here they are. Oh no, they aren't. <laughs> I didn't end up using these, so I'm not sure why I have these out. Never mind. Um, okay, so then the rest of them, I already showed you the little butterflies up here and the little flowers on the ends there. Those were from Love Nicole from AC Moore. This, the big one, um, had been gifted to me by, I, I think, Isabel and Nada. Um, I've got some white ones down here, there and there. Um, I think then maybe one little one over here. Those were recollections and look like this. And I've had them a while. I've had them, all this stuff, well, while, at least since last year. The color that I thought went really well with the wallpaper and things were these. Um, they were supposed to be sticky, but of course the sticky came, they pulled right off the sticky, which was fine with me. I put them down with hot glue. They're Michaels also, Recollections. And then this was um, a clearance item. And that's also Michaels, and I just used one of these light blue here. And... That's it, guys. I think that's everything, sorry for my reach, that I used. Um, yeah, I thought it came out really pretty. I'm very happy with it. And the hardest part for me was the decoupaging. I really need some lessons in decoupage. 
<laughs> and that doesn't really match this, but I had to use it because of the love is in the air. And I didn't really know what I was going to do with the back anyway. So it might get covered up if I hang it on a shelf or, I mean, a, the wall or something. But, um, oops, sorry. But anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my projects this week. These were fun. I had fun with it. And this, um, originally I was going to put a napkin in here and then I got this wallpaper stuff in from the Hobby Lobby haul, which was, it took a while for that haul to get here, I'll be honest. I mean, once they shipped it, it didn't take long at all. Oh, and one more thing. I forgot because it fell down. Um, I was looking for a word thing and I couldn't really find one that I liked that looked right in here. So I did have these stickers called roses, themed, it just says themed, but it's roses. And so I did pull, put this let love grow and then it has sort of the neutral and also that tealy blue color flower. I don't know, that was sort of an afterthought too. I just felt like I needed a word, but I'm not sure I really like putting that in there because to me it sort of cheapens it a little bit. I don't know, let me know what you think. But overall, I think it turned out really good. So let me recap. There is project two and here is project one. Very different, huh? <laughs> Very different, but I think equally cool. I like them both. I'm going to have to set up a, one part of my hmm, room or house somewhere just for shabby chic, chic stuff and one part for my attempts at steampunk, which yeah, that's my third, third project. Yeah, third project. Uh, at the very end of all the five weeks, I'll show you everything I've made. I will not be giving any of these away. I might do a giveaway, but it won't be any of my projects because these were definite labors of love and I'm not sure they're of the quality of anything I'd want to give away, but to me, they're just um, personal to me, if you, if you know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. So I'm sorry about that. Um, it's been a learning experience, let me put it that way. So these are me, for me to look back on and say, yeah, this is what you did um, when you were learning and hopefully I'll get better, but I don't know, I'm old, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay guys, that's enough. Um, hop along to all the other participants, please. Please, 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 and see what lovely things they've made. We have some awesome, there's only like eight of us, including me, I think, but there are some awesome, talented people here. Um, I know I'm supposed to say them all. And oh, by the way, this is hosted by Elemental Designs, who is Carmen, crafting with Isabel Labori, who is obviously Isabel. I'll attempt to say them. There's Judy Evans Parker. Um, Cress and more Donna Jackson, creating with Dorinda or creativity with Dorinda or by Dorinda. I'm sorry, Dorinda. My memory's bad. Crafting with Ivy, New York styles at all. It used to be New York uh, freestyle nails and glitz, I believe. Now it's New York styles at all. <sighs> Donna, turn you. I'm missing somebody. I'm sorry. See, I knew this would happen. I'm, I'm sure I'm missing somebody. Anyway, they'll all be listed down below. And um, if I can find the name of the person before I upload the video, I'll put I'll put the name. Um, I'll put the names all on a list at the end. How's that? Okay. Bye for now, guys. Have a wonderful Sunday. We're expecting five to eight inches of snow this evening into tomorrow morning. Yippee! Ha ha. Um, so I'm off to go visit with my mother before the snow comes and take her laundry and get her laundry and all that fun stuff. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Hugs, love, and peace.